Welcome to my video series on getting into different types of flying on a budget. In this series, I'm covering everything from the super cheap to the expensive. So no matter your budget, there is a way to live that childhood dream of flying. This video is about auto gyros, amazing things with some real pros and cons. I've already made a video explaining what auto gyros are, what they can do and what they can't do, <clears throat> vertical takeoff. So check that video out on my channel and the link is also in the description. Now, let's have a look at what auto gyros cost and what it's going to take to get your auto gyro pilot's license. An auto gyro uses three spinning blades that turn by auto rotation, moving air up through the blades. An auto gyro's blades act like a glider's wing, similar to a flex wing microlite. Well, not really, but they are, there is some similarities there. The craft is often hanging like a trike hanging from a pendulum from the thing that gives it lift. So in that respect, it's fairly similar. The great thing about auto gyros is that they are great for short field takeoff and landings, and they deal with the wind pretty well. They can't take off or land vertically, but for landing in particular, they need only a very short distance. There are also a lot of closed cockpit auto gyros on the market now, which are better for safety and for comfort. For training, you'll need a PPL G license in the UK requiring at least 40 hours and to pass your ground school exams. In the USA, you'll need a light sports license and around 10 to 20 hours for conversion. For costs, in the USA, the training is around $230 per hour, which seems like a lot to me. So let me know in the comments if I've got that wrong, if you know something different. In the UK, it can cost around £150 per hour for training. Cost for getting a license is similar to that of a light sport or micro light license, so they go for around $6,000 US dollars. After that, well, auto gyros range from quite cheap for the external tandem ones at around £20,000, dependent on age and quite expensive for the enclosed modern ones, some of them costing more than US dollars Many of them use the Rotax engine running on that ethanol 5 unleaded fuel rather than the aviation fuel, which is great. And like many of the light sport or micro light aircraft, they are designed to be cost conscious as they are primarily used by people for recreational flying. As for safety, well, they've got a reputation for being unsafe, but as I've said before, it depends on the pilot and the training. The good news is that they are immune to stalling and spinning, which are the biggest killers for fixed wing pilots. Also, the blades are always in auto rotation, so if the engine cuts off, you'll simply glide down, unlike a helicopter where the pilot needs to get those blades into auto rotation quickly. However, auto gyros are prone to something called bunting, where the blades can unload and the craft pitches forward and tumbles. If this happens, there's very little you can do, just brace for impact and hope for the best. You'll be falling to the ground fast. Also, when you do impact, you've got those blades to think about, and if you're externally seated, this could be a problem. Still, it doesn't mean that they're unsafe in the right hands. Feel free to leave your thoughts on safety in the comments. I know auto gyros have a bit of a reputation. Is it deserved? Also, if you're an auto gyro pilot, let us know your thoughts on these contraptions in the comments. Tell us why you love them. The next video will be on helicopters, definitely one of the most expensive ways to get about, but very few aircraft can do what helicopters can do. So see my video here or find the link in the description below.